You know, Cisco has some terms that are thrown around in their data center an awful lot and it can get really confusing. One of those terms is FEX. You see it a lot, fabric extension. And then another concept built on top of this is called VM FEX. Let me just take a moment with you in this micro nugget and make sure you understand these technologies. So let's look at some Cisco data center components and let me explain this concept of FEX, okay? What Cisco means when they just say FEX, fabric extension. Okay, so here you can see we have a B-series chassis and it's filled with happy, happy little B servers. B-series servers, of course. These are going to connect to a fabric interconnect. And notice I'm not showing any redundancy here. I don't want to confuse things. I want it to be very clear of what connects to what, and we'll just see it in a non-redundant configuration here as we explain it. So the B-series chassis connects to the fabric interconnect, and that can connect upstream to a Nexus 2K. Now, you know the Nexus 2K is pretty remarkable. It acts as a child to a parent device that is going to provide all of the configuration and management for that. So it is going to connect to something upstream like a Nexus 7K in our illustration here. We call this device, of course, the end of rack device, and we call this child device the top of rack device for connectivity. Remember, this child seems like a line card that is installed locally on the parent, even though it is down there at the top of the data center rack. So fabric extension refers to this device right here being outside of that 7K and acting like it's internal to the 7K. Get it? Fabric extension. It extends out there to the top of rack. So oftentimes the Nexus 2K will simply be referred to as your FEX. Oh, what are you using for effects? Oh, I've got the certain model of Nexus 2K in place for my fabric extension. So what is VM effects? Well, fabric extension to the VM level. On one of these B servers, you'll have, let's say, four VMs running. Yeah, you're doing some powerhouse web work, Oracle work, whatever. So you got these four different VMs running and they're on this single B-series server. In that B-series blade server, you put one of Cisco's fancy virtual interface cards. This virtual interface card will literally tag each VM's traffic so that that traffic can be uniquely identified as it moves upstream. So it's this concept of extending the awareness of this parent device all the way down to the virtual machine level. We have virtual machine A right here, and this parent device can recognize the traffic of that particular virtual machine thanks to VM fax. I said there was tagging involved, and this is called the VN tag that we are talking about that is utilized in this virtual machine fax environment. Now, something that's really interesting about this is I'll have a lot of students look at this concept and they will say, uh, gee, you know what? I think you're going to have to be running something like the Nexus 1000 V. And that used to be true that we needed a technology running like the 1000 V in order to pull this off, except now VM facts can be implemented all within the hardware and the hypervisor. The, the traffic forwarding can go on without the need for the 1000 V as long as we have particular hardware components in place. So VM facts can be done with a virtual switch or without a virtual switch in today's environment. So there you have it, FEX, and particularly VM FEX. I sure hope this micro nugget has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.